We move on to another segment, which is My Culture. And welcome to My Culture, which is a, new, a weekly news segment where we explore the rich traditions that make up the cultural landscape of Kenya. Today, we delve into the Festival of Lights, known as Diwali, a celebration cherished by the Hindu community across the globe. In Kenya, the festivities are equally vibrant, carried out with deep reverence and joyous revelry. Our reporter brings you an intimate glimpse into how Diwali is celebrated um, right here at home in Kenya. Take a look at that. Happy Diwali Happy Diwali Diwali is one of the most important festivals for Hindus worldwide. In Kenya, the festival transforms homes into glowing sanctuaries of light and harmony, bridging generations and bringing families together. While the streets dazzle with lights, the heart of the celebration beats within family homes. We burst fireworks and everybody is joyous and happy during these times. It has changed variously throughout the years. As time has evolved, everybody has different practices. Some people might not enjoy to burst fireworks and some people might. The lighting of Diaz is perhaps the most iconic symbol of Diwali representing the triumph of light over darkness, knowledge over ignorance. Diwali originated thousands of years ago. Lord Ram, due to certain circumstances, was sent into the forest for exile for 14 years. And during this time, he had killed the divan, demon Ravan. So when he had come back into Ayodhya, which was the city, they had welcomed him with fireworks and lights. So Diwali is the celebration of lights. So they had welcomed him with those lights. So this signifies the triumph of good over evil. Each deer carries a prayer, an invitation for prosperity, joy and spiritual enlightenment. The act of placing these lamps is performed with deep gratitude, honoring the goddess Lakshmi, the deity of wealth and prosperity. The floors of many Hindu homes come to life with intricate rangoli patterns created using colored powders, rice and flowers. I look forward to decorating the house because a lot of colors come out and it, it's very pleasing to one's eye. And we make different animals and different shapes, so that is very fun to create as well. These patterns are not just art. They are a welcoming gesture for guests and divine blessings, a way to ensure that only positive energy flows through the household. Prayer rituals or pujas are a cornerstone of the festivities where families gather to offer sweets, fruits and flowers in reverence. The sweets are my favorite because I get to eat. So usually we create these balls called ladus, which are very fun to make and also very delicious. The air fills with the scent of incense and the soft harmonious sounds of Sanskrit mantras echoing wishes for divine protection and abundance in the coming year. No Diwali is complete without a sumptuous feast. Families prepare and share an array of traditional Indian delicacies from spicy samosas to sweet syrup-soaked gulab jamun and ladus. The feast symbolizes abundance and generosity, inviting the spirit of community and celebration. It shows that this whole community has a lot of unity and it shows me culturally that I can become a better person for myself and for the community as well. As evening turns to night, 
The sky is lit up with fireworks. Though there is a growing awareness about mindful celebrations, the lighting of sparklers and bursting of crackers remain a thrilling experience for many, especially the young ones. Each burst of light punctuates the night with hope and joy. More than just a religious festival, Diwali is a time of renewal and reflection. It's about making amends, spreading joy and looking forward to new beginnings. For the Hindu community in Kenya, it's a moment to reconnect with their roots, celebrating not only the light that fills their homes, but also the warmth that fill their hearts. Diwali helps me connect to India as a country, that is because it originated from there. And I feel when you do Diwali in a different country, it brings back the originality and the rituals that are usually celebrated in India. So it makes you feel at India, even though you're in another country. And talking about Diwali, it means a very joyous and exciting festival for me. It is something that I enjoy since childhood. Diwali extends beyond the home into the heart of spiritual practice, the temple. Temples across the country become vibrant centers of devotion, adorned with fresh flowers, shimmering lights and colorful decorations that uplift the spirit. The celebration begins with an evening arti, a beautiful and sacred ritual. <laughs> As the priest waves a ceremonial lamp before the deity, the soft glow of light fills the space, symbolizing the divine presence. The congregation sings hymns in unison, their voices echoing with devotion and gratitude. Devotees bring offerings such as sweets, fruits and incense, presenting them as a sign of respect and reverence to the gods and goddesses, particularly Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth, and Ganesha, the removal of obstacles. Each offering carries prayers for prosperity, peace and spiritual growth. The temple grounds become a vibrant space where families gather, dressed in their finest traditional attire, and children marvel at the stunning decorations. The atmosphere is filled with a sense of community, joy and spiritual reflection. No temple visit on Diwali is complete without receiving prasad, blessed food that symbolizes divine grace. Devotees share these sacred offerings embodying the spirit of generosity and kindness that Diwali represents. encourages me giving back to the community and it teaches me the value that I should give back to the community and to help those in need. Diwali is also a time where I look inside myself and I see my flaws, but I have to eradicate them to make myself a better person. Jackie Wambiru, My Culture.